So like most areas, Gainesville has seen an increase in property values, and now with a median sales price just over $300,000, I thought I would take you around town and share with you some neighborhoods and exactly what you could expect if you're looking in that $300,000 to $400,000 price range. So the first neighborhood we'll go visit is Willow Oak Plantation in Southwest Gainesville. So Willow Oak is located just off of Archer Road in Southwest Gainesville. And from this location, you can expect it to take about 15 to 20 minutes to get back to the University of Florida Shands Hospital and the VA Hospital. Of course, during rush hours, expect that time to go up a bit because Archer Road does get pretty congested, especially around the interstate. So driving back in or out of town could take a little bit longer. Willow Oak plantation does have an HOA which is currently at $96 per quarter. The neighborhood does also have a community pool. Most of the homes here were built between 2007 and 2014 and they're all going to be on lots that are about 0.15 acres. Again home prices will range in that $300 to $400,000 price point and most of the homes will be about 1400 square feet getting on up over 2,000 square feet. This is a great location again if you need to get back to the University of Florida Shands Hospital or you just want to be close to all the shopping and dining options on Archer Road. Hey guys, Donovan Arnold here, and if you're new to the channel, I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. On the channel, we talk about all things Gainesville. We talk about the best restaurants, the best schools, all the best places to live. And if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. So the next neighborhood we'll go through is over in Northwest Gainesville, and that's going to be Broadmoor. So Broadmoor is located just off of Newberry Road in Northwest Gainesville. And from this location, it'll take you about 20 minutes to get to the University in Florida and Chance Hospital. There is an HOA here in Broadmoor also, and that's going to be $140 quarterly. Again, this neighborhood does also have a community pool. Most of the homes here were built in the mid 90s and early 2000s and the lot sizes are a little bit larger, right around a third of an acre. Now the majority of homes are around 2,000 square feet, some a little above, some a little below, um, but again most of the prices will range from just under $300,000 on up closer to $400,000. So these next two neighborhoods are actually right side by side with a great location and that's going to be Royal Gardens and Coventry. Coventry and Royal Gardens has a beautiful location just off of Glen Springs Road and that's going to be a lot closer into the middle of town. From the neighborhood you could expect it to take about 10 minutes to get over to the University of Florida and Shands Hospital. Now homes over here are going to range from about $300,000 on up closer to $500,000 and they are a little bit older. Most of the homes were built in the mid and late 80s. These homes will be on slightly larger lots. You can expect most of the property sizes to range from about a third of an acre on up to half an acre, and there are a few lots a little bit larger than that. Both of these neighborhoods are fairly small though. Coventry has just under 50 homes and Royal Gardens has just under 70 homes. So between the number of homes in the neighborhood and the great location and the price point, Homes rarely become available here, but if you're looking for location and convenience and being close to everything, make sure this area is on your radar. So another neighborhood where you can definitely find something in that three to $400,000 range is gonna be Fletcher's Mill. So Fletcher's Mill is just off of Newberry Road as you're headed out of Gainesville going towards Jonesville. From the neighborhood, you'd be about 20 minutes back to the University of Florida and Shands Hospital. It is sort of Northwest Gainesville, but overall a convenient location. Within Fletcher's Mill, there are some sub-communities. You've got Oak Glen, Magnolia Court, Hickory Ridge, The Retreat, and Charleston Park. And all of those, uh, the HOA amount per month can vary. So you want to look at them case by case, but it can range from about $35 per month all the way up closer to $150 per month. Most of the homes in this area are on about a third of an acre, but it'll be a little bit less for Charleston Park. Those are going to be much closer together and majority are be two-story homes. And that'll give you that sort of Charleston, Savannah type feel. And it's really unique for the area. 
Overall though, throughout Fletcher's Mill, you can expect home prices to range from about $250,000 on up over $400,000. And again, the majority of these homes were built during the mid 90s and early 2000s. So overall, a great community, great location. It's definitely worth a visit. Now, if you're looking for something with a little bit more land and a lot less trees, you'll wanna go out to Southwest Gainesville and visit Hammock Ridge. Hammock Ridge is just off of Archer Road and it's gonna be a little bit further out, but it's still surprisingly close to everything. You are in Southwest Gainesville and from the neighborhood, it would take you about 20 minutes to get back to the University of Florida and Chan's Hospital, but you've got a ton of shopping and dining options in between the two. So as you're going into work or coming back out, plenty of places to stop, pick something up, have some dinner, do some shopping. Keep in mind around Archer Road and I-75 area, you can run into some traffic. So some of that drive time may take a little bit longer during peak hours. Most of the homes out in Hammock Ridge will range in price from about 200,000 on up closer to $500,000. The nice thing about Hammock Ridge is they're slightly newer homes, but on larger lots. So the majority of homes were built between 2004 and 2006, and pretty much all of the lots are right around an acre. So you've got a little bit more property. Now there are not really any trees out here, so it's pretty much wide open. But again, you've got a little bit more land, some space to spread out, which a lot of people are looking for. And the majority of homes are gonna be between 1,400 square feet and 2,400 square feet. Some you can definitely find with a pool and a lot of great updates. So if you're looking for something with some land but still wanna be back close towards town and the university, definitely go out and visit Hammock Ridge. So if you're curious about other great Gainesville neighborhoods, what you'll wanna do next is go ahead and watch this video where I drive you around town and share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area.